Not me missing my goal by a dollar. Let me explain. Hey guys, Britt Renee here. Welcome back to my channel. So this video is long overdue, but because I'm recording my journey, I definitely wanted to record my sales for the month of February, 2023. Okay, in typical Brit Renee fashion, let's just jump right into what sold. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna tell you what it sold for and then I'll tell you what my gross sales were at the end of this and I will share with you what my net sales were too. And that's really what matters to me because it's, you know the gross sell minus your cost of goods any shipping or fees that the platform takes and so it's actually like money in my pocket so we're gonna start at the first of the month of February the first thing that sold for me was this Alice and Olivia pleated skirt I had it listed for 115 I got an offer for $99 and the thing that sold for me was a pair of Everlane leggings they were little tan leggings I picked these up for two dollars and sold them for 15. The next thing that sold was Everlane, another pair of my Everlane wide leg jumpsuit. I picked up a lot of these and they, I think I have like one left in a size like double zero petite. Good luck. Good luck selling that, right, Britt? Okay, but I, the next thing that sold was this wide leg jumpsuit I picked it up for four dollars and sold it for 45 I'm gonna do everything that sold on Poshmark everything that sold on Mercari eBay Vestir kind of link those together so all these sales that I'm talking about right now they all sold on Poshmark the next thing that sold was an Everlane slip dress same like Japanese go weave material I picked this dress up for six dollars and I sold it for $36. Next up was a Johnny Wes patchwork shirt. I picked this up for $6 and I sold it for $75. Remember these are the gross sales. The next step is an Everlane skirt. I picked this up for $4 and she sold for $27. Okay, so the next thing that sold was a pair of Birdie Nude Loafers. I did pay up a little bit for these. I paid $18.43 for these. They sold for $63. The next thing that sold was a Diane Von Furschenberg DF, DVF, a DVF scarf that I had. I probably picked this up like a year or so ago for like two dollars I sold it for ten to uh, fifteen dollars next up is the next thing that sold was another Everlane jumpsuit this sold for thirty dollars I remember I sent out a flash sale on this and again I picked these jumpsuits up for four dollars each the next thing that sold was a pair of Johnny Was Pete and Greta cargo pants. I still have a couple of these pants left, and I really love these pants. Um, I have some that are more like more of a silky like material, but these Pete and Greta cargo pants I picked up for fifteen dollars, and then I sold this pair for sixty-seven dollars. Next step was a pair. Of boots that my sister gave to me it was honestly they were in her donation pile and I was like I'll take them I'll sell them <laughs> they were just a pair of like over the knee stocking boots from a fast fashion website and so there were no cost to me and I sold them for ten dollars next up are a pair of Levi premium high loose tapered jeans I picked these jeans up for $3 and I sold them for $59. St. John Basics. St. John Basics, I had a pair of knit pants from them. I picked these pants up for $13 and they sold for $44. 
Moving right along, I sold a free people like a jumpsuit. It was like a wor workout jumpsuit. I really like it. I actually have another one left in the color blue. It's like a, yeah, it's blue-ish. This one was gray. I paid $5 for them and this one sold for $36. The next thing that sold was, I remember I picked this up on a trip out with my girls to Goodwill. It was a beautiful anthropology mini dress and I picked it up for $5.95 and it sold, um, I took an offer for $100 on it. This next piece that I sold on Poshmark was an Acacia swimwear, like a little hookah top, bikini top. I got this when I went out sourcing with my mom. I picked it up for 99 cents and I sold the top for $42. The next two items I sold in a bundle on Poshmark. It was a Good American U-Ring bodysuit, a pair of Good American jeans that someone bundled together. I took an offer on the bundle for $95 and combined my cost of goods for $16 because I picked each item up for $8. Okay, so that's all of my sales for Poshmark for the month of February. I did have a sale on Vestire, which Vestire I typically like to post more of my more luxury name brand items over there so this was a Vivian Tam dress and I had it for honestly like a year and I probably picked it up for five dollars and fifty cents and I sold it for thirty six dollars over on Vestir and then on Mercari I sold a J Crew purse that I picked up for three dollars and 50 cents and I sold the purse for $45. Okay, another item that sold for me on Macari was a James Barnes men's silk shirt. I picked it up for $5 and I sold it for $25. Then these items are not clothing items, but they are items that sold for me on eBay. One was just this little baby sling that you use when you go to the grocery store that I have when my daughter was you know, a baby, she's almost four now, so it's like time to clear that out and time to sell it. And I, I think it was gifted to me. So I sold that on eBay for $15. And then I had these pair of Snoopy bed sheets and I sold them for $20 on eBay as well. So, at the end of the month of February, my gross total sales were $999, <laughs> which is kind of funny because initially I was like saying getting back into reselling, my first goal was just to make a thousand dollars and honestly, I'm failing at that because really it needs to be, nah, I need, I need the thousand in my pocket, not gross. But gross wise, I did make $999, which is $1 away from $1,000. And whenever you subtract all of my fees and shipping costs and all the things, my net profit for the month of February was an extra $662.48. Um, let's see, what was my biggest spread? Profit, 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 profit. Okay, so the biggest spread I got was probably that Alice and Olivia skirt. I sold it for 99 and after the cost of goods, my profit was $75.20. Shortly after that was the Anthropology mini dress that sold for $100. I got it for $5.95. After all the fees and stuff, my profit was $74.05. So it's not like I'm like picking up things that aren't yielding a decent profit. So honestly, I'm happy with this, especially because I know I have so many other things going on. This isn't something full time I do, it is a hobby that I like to dabble in, but I also kind of want to ramp it up a little bit. 
I homeschool my girls, also have a full-time entrepreneurship business that I help run for our family. And so in the meantime, whenever I get to go shopping and thrifting and sourcing, like I really do love that. So I have a lot more things to list. I've already, you know, start, started the ball rolling for the month of March, for the month of March. Let's see how much more gas I can put on, on the, put, how, how's that saying go? Let's see how much more gas I can add, put my pedal to the metal whatever i need to get it in gear right hey guys that was my sales for the month of february if you hung out with me to the end of the video again as always thank you so much please hit the like button subscribe and i'll see you on the next one all right ciao Hey guys, remember the Vivian Tam dress that I said I sold for $36? I was going back to take a picture of it and it said I actually sold it for $40. So in all actuality, guess what? Your girl made her goal. <laughs>